Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to make this really beautiful shawl pattern. It is super simple. It only uses the chain, single crochet, and double crochet, and only has a two-row repeat. It would make the perfect DIY gift. So if you like this pattern, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. For this tutorial, I'll be using lightweight 3 yarn with a 3.5 millimeter hook. So to begin, you want to start by chaining five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and slip stitch into the very first chain. Now to begin the first row, you are going to want to chain up three. One, two and three and we will be working inside the ring that we made right here so after chaining up three you are going to prepare for a double crochet inside the ring so yarn over insert and pull through the yarn with the traditional double crochet you would yarn over and pull through the first two loops however in this project we will be doing something a little different in our double crochets so after you yarn over and pull that yarn through, you're going to yarn over and just pull through one loop. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through another loop and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. I'm not sure what this variation of the double crochet is called, so if you know, please let me know in the comments below. So from here, you're going to go ahead and chain two and you are going to be putting those two types of double crochets in this same circle again. So again, yarn over and insert your hook, pull the yarn as if you were going to go in with a double crochet, and instead of pulling through the first two loops, you're gonna yarn over and pull through one at a time. Let's repeat it again for a second time. So from here, chain two, and go ahead and place two sets of those double crochets inside the circle again. So that's one, and two. Chain two, one, two, and repeat those two double crochets again inside the circle. That's one, and two. Chain two again, one, two, and for a final time, place those two sets of double crochets in the circle again. That's one, and two. So you should have five sets of those two double crochets. From here, chain three, one, two, three, and flip your work. Inside this first chain space, we will be placing a shell. So to create a shell, we will be doing two sets of double crochets, chain two, and two sets of double crochets again. So working inside this first chain space, let's place our beginning shell. Yarn over and place that variation of the double crochet that we've been working with. Place two of those. There's two, chain two, one, two, and again place those two types of double crochets inside of that chain space. One, and two. You will be beginning every single row this way with that shell pattern. So from here, go ahead and chain two, one, two. Now we see this next chain space and we are going to skip it. We're gonna go into the second chain space and we will be placing four of those double crochets that we've been working on. So yarn over and enter the second chain space. You're gonna pull up a slight loop like this. You're gonna yarn over and th pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the second, and yarn over, pull through the third. So it's just like those double crochets we've been making except we are pulling up a loop in the beginning. So go ahead and place a total of four of those in this chain space. So we've made one, 
we're going to go ahead and repeat three more times. There's number two. Insert, pull up a loop. There's number three. Pull up that loop. And you have four. From here, we are going to repeat those four double crochets into that chain space that we skipped earlier. So we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into that first chain space, grab the yarn and we're gonna pull up a loop just like that. And we're gonna yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through the second, and yarn over, pull through the last loop. So there's the first one. Go ahead and make a total of four. So we are gonna repeat three more times. Into that first chain space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through another, yarn over, pull through the last. So there's two double crochets. Let's go in for a third one. There's number three. And a final one to make four. And that is what the pattern should look like. From here, go ahead and chain two. One, two. And we are going to end this row with our shell sequence again. So again, into this very last chain space, you're gonna place two double crochets, you're gonna chain two and two double crochets again. So there's the first one. There's the second, we're gonna chain two and we're gonna place two double crochets in that same chain space again. There's one and two. You will be ending every single row the same way. So we're starting every row with a shell and ending every row with a shell. To continue, chain up three. One, two, three. You're gonna turn your work and place your beginning shell in that chain space. So I'm gonna place two double crochets. Chain two, one, two, and an additional two double crochets all in that same very first chain space. From here, chain two, one, two. Now, inside the eight double crochets that we made in the previous row, we will be placing a total of eight front post double crochets. So yarn over, enter the first one from the back so that it's a front post. Grab your yarn. Now grab your yarn again, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through the second. Yarn over, pull through the third. Continue with your front post double crochets all along until you reach the end. We should end up with a total of eight because we placed eight double crochets in the previous row. There's four. five, six, seven, and eight. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and end this row by placing your shell in that final chain space. So again, that's two double crochets, one, two, chain two, one, two, and place two double crochets in that same chain space again to finish up the shell sequence.
to continue, go ahead and chain up three. One, two, three, and flip your work. Place your beginning shell into the border. One, two, chain two, one, two, and two double crochets again. One, two. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two. You are gonna skip this very first chain space. You're gonna count two double crochets, so one, two, and in this chain space right here, it's not really a chain space, but you're gonna go into this little space after the second double crochet, you're gonna sink your hook into there, and you're gonna be placing a design that we made right here. So yarn over, and inside this little space after the second double crochet, you're gonna pull up four double crochets. So again, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through the second, and yarn over, pull through the last, that's one. Continue three more times again for a total of four. That's two, three, and four. From here, you are gonna go inside this chain space that we skipped in the beginning so that we can make our crossover wave. So yarn over, sink your hook into that chain space that we skipped, grab your yarn and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through the last. You are gonna be making four of these double crochets in that chain space again. So we have one, we are gonna continue three more times for a total of four. So there's two, three, and four. From here, chain two, one, two. In this space that we placed our first, first four double crochets, we're gonna skip two double crochets afterwards. One, two, and sink your hook into that little space afterwards and place a single crochet. From here, chain two, one, two. You are going to skip all the remaining double crochets and you are going to sink your hook into the chain space before our ending shell. You are gonna be placing four double crochets. Pull up that loop, one, go into the second and go into the third. Continue repeating this three more times until you end up with a total of four double crochets. So there's two, three, and four. After this, you are going to backtrack two double crochets. So remember we skipped four. You're gonna count at the end and you're gonna go one, two. In the space after that second double crochet, you are going to sink your hook and place four double crochets. Pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through the third. Repeat this three more times for a total of four double crochets. There's two. Three. and four. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and end this row by placing your ending shell. So again, it's two double crochets, chain two, one, two, and a final two double crochets all in the same chain space. One, and two.
to begin or to continue chain up three one two three and turn your work again start the row by placing your shell in the beginning one two chain two one two and again two double crochets one and two from here go ahead and chain two one two and here you will see the eight double crochets that we made in the previous row you are going to go in with front post double crochets all along each and every single one for a total of eight front post double crochets so yarn over come in from the back so that the post of that first double crochet is in front of is in front of your hook yarn over again pull that yarn yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over pull through the second yarn over pull through the third continue with front post double crochets all along the eight double crochets from the previous row so there's two three four five six seven and eight from here go ahead and chain two one two you're going to jump across to the next set of eight double crochets and again you will be placing eight front post double crochets along each and every single one of them one two three four five six seven and eight from here chain two one two and go ahead and finish up this row by placing your shell in the ending border one two double crochets chain two one two and two double crochets again. One, two. To continue, chain up three, one, two, three, and flip your work. Continue by placing your beginning shell in the border. That's two, chain two, and two double crochets again. From here the pattern continues to repeat but I'll work along with you guys in case you get confused so from here chain two one two we are going to skip this very first chain space and in this set of eight double crochets we are going to count one two we're going to sink our hook into the space after the second double crochet and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first yarn over pull through the second yarn over pull through the third we're going to continue three more times until we have a total of four long loop double crochets that's two three and four I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go back into that chain space that I skipped in the beginning of the row and sink my hook into there. I'm going to pull up a long loop and I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first, yarn over, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through the third. I'm going to continue this three more times until I end up with a total of four long loop double crochets. Two. three and four 
from here, go ahead and chain two, one, two. In this space that we sunk our first set of four double crochets, we're gonna count two double crochets. One, two. And in the space after that, you are going to be placing a single crochet. From here, chain two. One, two. You're gonna skip these four double crochets and in the chain space in the middle, you will be placing your four long loop double crochets. To prepare for your long loop double crochets, yarn over, sink your hook in that chain space and pull up your loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the second. Yarn over, pull through the third. Continue by repeating this three more times for a total of four long loop double crochets. Three, and four. After this, you are going to backtrack. Those four double crochets that we skip count backwards two. One, two. And in this space, after that second double crochet from the end, you're going to sink your hook. So yarn over and sink your hook in for four long loop double crochets. There's the first. Second. third, and fourth. From here, go ahead and chain two. One, two. You are going to be skipping four double crochets. So one, two, three, four. Sink your hook in the space after that and place a single crochet. Go ahead and chain two, one, two, and you're gonna jump over to the very last chain space and you will be placing four long loop double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Here you will backtrack from the four double crochets that we skipped and you're gonna sink your hook into the second from the end. Yarn over, sink your hook and pull up four long loop double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. To finish up this row, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and end this row with your border shell at the end. So two double crochets, two, and then go ahead and chain two, one, two, and two double crochets. And two. For the next row, go ahead and chain up three and turn your work. Start the row with your beginning shell. One, two, chain two, and two double crochets. one and two. From here chain two, one, two, and across these eight double crochets you are going to be placing one front post double crochet into each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
From here, chain two, one, two, jump across into your next set of eight double crochets and place a front post double crochet into every single one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain two, one, two, and again, place eight front post double crochets into each of the eight double crochets from the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. To finish up the row, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and place your ending shell in the border. One, two double crochets, chain two, and one, two double crochets. This is what the back of the pattern looks like. And this is what the front looks like. So go ahead and just continue those two rows until you reach your desired size and length for your shawl. I hope you guys all enjoyed this pattern and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.